So actually, to be frank, in during college time, I used to hate coding. Data science, yeah, the field was good. Just because it's coding, I didn't choose it. What made you think to go towards data science? Then in YouTube, I started watching your videos. So currently, what I'm doing, I'm loving it. Uh, hello guys, we have with us Jen today and uh, we will be talking about his transition story to data science. Uh, so Jen, welcome again. It's a pleasure to have you over here after so much of hard work. You have definitely made a successful career transition to data science. Okay, Jen. Uh, so first question is that just tell us about your background, your education background and all. So first of all, thanks for having, having me here. So I, I look up to you. So fan of your work and yeah, yeah coming back to me. So initially, I started with Spreadian Technologies. Mm -hmm. So that I got into from uh, engineering. So engineering, uh, I've done electronics communication engineering. So their uh, uh, campus placement was there. So through campus, I got into Spreadian Technologies. So their initially three months training was there. So post that, uh, they put me into development. So that's how it all started and uh, slowly, uh, in, from initially itself, I was interested in data science and AI domain, but uh, from the company, I got into development. So slowly, pr simultaneously, I was doing both and uh, that's how I got into. So you're from engineering background? Yeah, yeah, engineering in electronics and communication. Okay, then uh, let's talk about the roles and responsibilities that you specifically had in your first job. Okay, so basically it was into development. So here we had, uh, it was service based company. So many clients for that, depending upon the client requirements, we were developing the application and I was back an engineer. So I was working in Java technology. Generally it will be like uh, handling APIs and managing database. And if, if it's required, if it is a maintenance application, then we generate reports. So this was uh, like general profile. So depending upon the clients, again, uh, it changes. So, uh, like, see, uh, usually uh, this question I usually ask for everyone, right? Like, what were, like, what made you think to go towards data science? Okay. Like, so if you're already doing the software engineering work and all. Right. So, what made you specifically any kind of interest, any kind of goal that you had in your mind to probably go into data science? So, actually, to be frank, in during college time, I used to hate coding. Mm -hmm. So, I was planning in electronics field only. But then uh, in our college, every semester we are supposed to do workshop. Mm -hmm. So at that time, just for certification purpose, uh, I did data science related uh, workshop. Mm -hmm. So there again, it was related to coding. So still then, okay, uh, I didn't explore much. Then again, uh, in, during campus placement, I got into development. Mm -hmm. So there also I used to hate coding. But then when I started working on real time projects, that's where I got to know I like coding. Mm -hmm. So then data science, AI, the field was good. Just because it's coding, I didn't choose it. So then uh, data science buzzword was going everywhere. So I thought, okay, let's give a try. Then uh, in YouTube, I started watching your videos. So I, I really liked it because from beginning, I used to love mathematics. Mm -hmm. So it's like the domain which I like, it's a profile. So it's like, okay, let's take uh, data science as a domain and I started working on it. So that's how. <laughs> Okay, like uh, uh, just let, let the audience know about how was your interview experience and what all questions they asked, just in a high overview. Okay, so in general, initial first round will be the basic Python related questions they used to ask, Python and SQL related. Mm -hmm. Once we clear that round, they used to ask data science related, mm -hmm. some statistics and mathematics and uh, once that is done, how to pre-process the data and machine learning algorithms and mathematics related to that. Mm -hmm. So that's how it was going. Mm -hmm. So in general, uh, uh, when I I was taking interviews, service companies, they used to have uh, two rounds, mm -hmm. uh, one uh, as usual programming round and uh, technical round. But in product companies, we used to have uh, three rounds. So even in uh, my company where I got uh, opportunity, there also we had three rounds. Mm -hmm. So coding round, then again, uh, some fundamentals in data science, then they went to scenario based. Mm -hmm. So if this scenario happens, which algorithm do you choose? Okay. So what happens next? It was like that. Okay. So complexity wise, how, how much do you like to rate in one to five, your interview specifically? Uh, or they just focused on basic things and all? Yeah. If preparation is good, I say out of five, it'll be very easy. Mm -hmm. So I watched a lot of videos of yours, mm -hmm. which mathematics, everything was cleared perfectly. Mm -hmm. So if we, if our preparation is good, it's like just uh, whatever you're, you know, you'll be saying that. Mm -hmm. So it's, there is nothing different they can ask. Mm -hmm. 
they can ask mathematics related to data science or they will ask why you want to choose this algorithm so everything when we already know i feel it will be easy that's what i think so uh, let us know about your current job role and your day to day activities that you specifically do in your new company simon right simon sir yeah so here here also again we have lot of projects depending upon the projects uh, initially whichever uh, projects we take or whichever uh, ai domain or nlp cv mm -hmm. the initial will be application development mm -hmm. so we need to integrate so initial application development will be there mm -hmm. and depending upon the data depend upon uh, the scenario will be uh, forming one agile process there uh, will be deciding which algorithm to take or what process to take so currently you are focusing mainly on machine learning there so it's like again it depends on projects so currently i'm working on nlp and computer vision mm -hmm. so yeah depending upon the data what we get or problem statement what we get we take either uh, data science or ai depending upon that okay what is the current biggest challenge probably you faced once you got into this profile right now okay so actually when i was into development so development is is almost like from many years it's there so if we get any issue we go to google in stack overflow everything is there but in terms of ai if we get any issue some issues will be new mm -hmm. so even if i post in internet nobody knows because it's new and uh, many people won't be facing same issue mm -hmm. so we have to go from the scratch we have to debug properly mm -hmm. so that's where challenge comes and that's where it, it gets interesting also during that process uh, we find uh, new inventions and new things and we can implement those things also here okay amazing uh tell us like what is your probably future plan currently right what do you think like what kind of expertise or which field you probably want to go in this specific data science part itself sure so currently what i'm doing i'm loving it so data science ai nlp mm. i'm loving it so going forward say 5 10 years i want to be in this field mm. so with that uh, now i see there are a lot of techno new technologies coming rpa augmented reality virtual reality mm. so we can integrate those thing to ai as well so and i see lot of scope in our company in outside company also i see lot of scope there so i want to keep on learning those technologies yeah that's what i'm thinking and uh, as i told you i look up to you as well so i want to do something in teaching as well so in my free time uh, so that's what i'm thinking. perfect yeah. the teaching is obviously good uh, yeah. to overall build your knowledge in various domains okay like uh, uh, probably i know like let's say you are preparing for data science and you may have asked whether data science is the right field or not what do you believe like accordingly can anybody become a data scientist with proper preparation and process or do you think that no it is not for some this kind of people what i believe is that data science is for multiple domains exactly. what what is your thought yeah same thing so if we talk about full stack development cloud engineer right we need like uh, previous knowledge or uh, if you have good uh, cs background it'll be easier but when it comes to data science it's new for everyone we can implement to pharma we can implement to automobile we can implement to electronics so i'm from electronics domain mm -hmm. so my when i was in engineering my dream company was uh, schneider electric siemens mm -hmm. ge those places and now when i started learning i got opportunity in siemens mm -hmm. so my electronics background it's helping a lot now mm -hmm. because the company is completely towards electronics mm -hmm. and i'm doing data science and problem statement which is coming is related to electronics mm -hmm. so whichever domain we take i think we can apply data science to it so anyone can do data science that that's what i think. perfect that is what i yeah. believe too okay uh, now one very important thing like see many people pre people are preparing for data science still uh, some people uh, let's say they are trying trying they are not able to clear their interviews for those kind of people what guidance or strategy preparation strategy who do you like to give okay so the very first thing is uh, focusing on resume linkedin profile github profile because even if you are strong in data science that comes later point of time once we get interview mm -hmm. but initial stage to get interview or to get notice mm -hmm. so we need to build linkedin profile mm -hmm. and uh, github profile and uh, some uh, portfolio projects and uh, if if they have uh, habit of writing something they can go for blogging as well mm -hmm. so i think these kind of things will uh, fetch you interviews earlier uh, if we go to now create something uh, mm. we used to get but now profile selection has become uh, very good and again ai is there okay. so because of ai is happening okay. so i think uh, more focus should be on profile building then comes uh, data science or technical skills okay perfect uh, uh, this this question uh, like what are the top 3 tech probably you may be considering tech fields you may be considering that may be booming in the future according to you so very first thing is data science and ai for sure 
and second thing is augmented reality virtual reality so there also a lot of scope is there and a lot of things are happening now mm -hmm. metaverse those things mm -hmm. and third thing is full stack development because uh, that will be there forever if we take ER if we take a uh, data science everything we need to integrate to application itself yeah. so I I feel yeah augmented reality virtual reality and full stack development okay perfect like see you have successfully made a transition you know many people probably who are making a transition who are also studying what do you think, what are the myths that are probably stopping them to get into the data science industry? Okay, the very first thing is uh, they say programming, programming, programming. Because even I used to hate programming. In During college time, I did workshop related to data science, but still I, fall, I didn't follow it. Mm -hmm. Because I was thinking coding is required. Mm -hmm. But uh, coding is required, but still if you have uh, strong data science concepts mm -hmm. and uh, if we practice for two or three months, I think that will be very easy. That's first thing. Mm -hmm. And second thing is, uh, they think to for freshers it's very hard to get into data science they think uh, more experience is required mm. but uh, that's also a myth because many freshers even in our company you now for interns also we are hiring for data science job mm. so that's the second thing i see and affordability so many places if we see in the online it's going on for pg diploma or many things mm. they are asking uh, very high cost for to learn data science mm. So that's also one thing. So they can explore more. There are a lot of uh, resources in the market. So that's what I think. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think, like, what should be the preparation strategy of a fresher? Right. Since you said that your company is also hiring intern. Right. So initially, what kind of topics they should focus on? Or they should just focus on base or something like that, like to get into the data science. Yeah. So the very first thing is they need to know Python, mm. uh, programming language, mm. then SQL. Once they are good with SQL, all those things, they can concentrate on mathematics. So from freshers, if they know these things very strong, mm. then almost 80 to 90% job is done. Because data science, we can learn the concepts, but programming, we have to practice it. Mm. So programming and SQL, if they are fundamentally very good, mm. then company will take care of uh, teaching them data science or training them, providing courses that they do. But the very first thing, what I see is Python programming, SQL. Python and SQL is super yeah. important. Obviously, I also agree with that. Now, let's go with some rapid questions. So quickly, I will just ask you one question. Whatever thing comes in your mind, you have to say quickly, okay? So, coming to the first question, first rapid question, what is the key to success? Hard work. Who influenced you to get into this field? <laughs> Krishna X, sir. Okay. <laughs> what is the last Google search you did? Uh... Today, about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite part of your current job? Current job, mathematics. And any one word regarding data science? Uh, booming and good challenging job. Okay. If we grant you three wish, what would be? Uh, first thing is, whatever is happening now, it should continue. And second thing is, I from the beginning, from the college days, I got good mentors good seniors, good managers. I hope everyone gets that. Hmm. And uh, third one, uh, uh, I think that's all in my mind. <laughs> he does not want additional wishes. Okay, fine. <laughs> so yes, guys, this was it. Uh, uh, Jayanth was with us and who has made a recent transition into data science after so much of hard work. I hope uh, you liked this particular podcast. You, I hope you got a lot of knowledge about it, your preparation strategy and many more things. One last thing, Jant, any motivational thing that you probably want to give to the others, you know, who are doing, who, let's say, who are looking for any tech jobs, who are looking to make a transition, what do you, who do you like to tell them? Uh, motivation thing, I don't know, but advice I can give. So one thing is, whichever technology they choose, so it's earlier it was like only this technology, if you know, they'll pay high, but now any technology, if you excel in that, you get very good job. So focus on one technology and if you do hard work, I think uh, great. We'll get good. So thank you, Jayant. Uh, this was it, guys, from our side. I hope you like this particular podcast. I'll see you all in the next podcast. Thank you, Jayant. Thank you.